Hi everybody, my name is Emma Hines. I am the author of The Knowing. The Knowing is my debut novel. It is a queer historical gothic fiction set in the 19th century. My main character is called Flora. She is a queer tattooed mystic and she is living in Five Points in New York. She is in a terrible relationship with the owner of a tattoo shop called The Painted Man. And when one day a wonderful, enigmatic, disabled circus performer called Minnie comes into the tattoo shop and changes her life. They go on an incredible journey together full of darkness and trauma and disappointment. But Flora has a wonderful gift, a terrifying gift that she uses to navigate these situations called the knowing, which allows her to speak to the dead and communicate with spirits. I hope you enjoy it. I'm here in Manchester in the Water Sales in the Arndale and I have three books that I want to share with you that inspired my writing. The first is Fingersmith by Sarah Waters. Sarah Waters is probably one of my favourite writers. Something that she does so well is she pulls queer stories from history and makes them come alive again in such an enticing and exciting way. Fingersmith is a great example of that. It's also an excellent example of how to write the most exciting plot that you've ever read in your life. It has so many twists and turns and explores the Victorian era in such a compelling way and was a really big inspiration for the knowing when I was writing it. My next recommendation is Beloved by Toni Morrison. Toni Morrison is an incredible writer. I love everything that she's written, but Beloved was particularly formative for me in learning how to write ex exciting gothic narratives uh, that particularly feature ghosts. Ghosts are a really important part of the knowing and the way that Toni Morrison handles ghosts is just extraordinary, it's beyond compare. And something that she really focuses on is how trauma informs hauntings. And that was something that was really compelling for me when writing The Knowing. Um, it's a very dark book, so I would definitely put it with a trigger warning, but it's, it's incredible and beautiful and will stay with you for a very, very long time. My final pick is The Binding by Bridget Collins. I absolutely love this book. Uh, not only is it very plot heavy and exciting and gripping at every turn of the page, it is also a wonderful queer story and it's an amazing fantasy book, which is something that I really, really enjoy. Um, the world that she creates is intriguing and complex and dark and full of secrets. And something that I really like in my own writing and like to aim for is a really complicated, secret driven narrative. And I think something that Bridget Connors does beautifully um, it's got sadness in it, it's got joy in it, it's got lots of darkness in it and the magic of, the, the magic of book binding is, is really wonderful. So if you loved, love book binding, anything to do with that, this is, this is the book for you. It's a magical take on how we weave our stories together.